Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, we have a massive update with Elon Musk that I have to share with you guys. And it's about the war going on in Israel against Hamas. And Elon Musk, in my opinion, is actually fighting to expose the truth. So I want to share it with you guys. We also have some major updates with Trump today and even with Joe Biden. Joe Biden's not doing so hot, right? We're going to talk about it, all right? So buckle up, buckle on in, thumbs up the video for the truth. And before we jump in, I want to share with you guys one of my favorite Bible verses because uh, God comes first. God comes first in our show and God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Comment amen if you believe that God is good, that God comes first. Okay, this is Philippians. All right, this is a, a good prayer to cast out anxiety. So if you'd like, you can close your eyes or just listen, but really, really listen to these words. Don't just hear, listen to them, but hear them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's soak this, these words in today, and I will do as well. Okay. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Sorry, I got a little loud there. <laughs> but I just love that. It's so beautiful. Um, I started going back to church recently more. And, you know, I, you know, we've all go through rocky patches in life. And, you know, I just have to say that it's great to... Uh, be around others and you know get that sort of peace from God so let's get started with the video updates um it we have a lot to cover the Israel and Hamas war they are currently at a standstill or they're or they're in a ceasefire rather they did end up extending their truce in Gaza 11 Israeli hostages were just freed by Hamas on Monday as Israel prepared to release more Palestinian prisoners in another swap under a temporary ceasefire deal, all 11 captives were seized from the same kibbutz community known as Near Oz, where the Gaza border during Hamas October 7th attack on Israel. Around 240 hostages were taken and about 1,200 people killed in the attack. That's a lot of people. That's on, on that single day, remember. And then Israel said, yeah, we're fighting back. And that's when the war started. Now, the chief spokesman for Qatar's foreign ministry said that three women and 30 Palestinian minors held on various offenses and would be freed by Israel. Um, so, yeah, Hamas confirmed the agreement for another two days under the same conditions as the previous truce. So they're going to potentially continue the arrangement for up to 10 days if Hamas continued freeing captives at a rate of 10 per day, around 240 captives. So it seems like the, you know, war is going to continue, but hopefully it doesn't. But Elon Musk went over to visit with Vice President Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, and now Elon Musk basically got canceled recently for sharing something he said on his platform x i'm not going to share what he said but you guys can look into that because you know want to keep this channel um safe elon musk went down to visit and he's told netanyahu that he wants to help rebuild gaza after the war elon musk said on monday that he wants to help rebuild gaza after the end of the israel hamas war how interesting is this? The trip comes at, as he faces fallout for backing an anti-Semitic post on X earlier this month, resulting in an exodus of major advertisers. Netanyahu says in a live chat with Elon Musk, 
we have to demilitarize Gaza after the destruction of Hamas and we have to de-radicalize Gaza and then we also have to rebuild Gaza. I'd like to help as well, Elon Musk said before mentioning the importance of rebuilding Japan and Germany after World War II. Holy smokes, my friends. So I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about this? Do you, what do you guys think about Elon Musk taking this into his own hands? Here's a, a little footage here. One of the kibbutzes attacked by Hamas on October 7th. There's Elon Musk right there. So I don't know. I, I personally kind of do like Elon Musk and what he's doing over on Twitter. Now, I wanted to share this with you guys as well. Donald J. Trump is doing very well in the polls, unlike Joe Biden. Joe Biden, he is barely getting 38.9% approval rating on average. He's trailing Trump in national polls, and he's also trailing Trump in five of six key electoral swing states. Why does this matter? Well, the swing states typically have a massive, um, you know, power. Like those could be the deciding states on who wins the presidency. And looking at 2024, the numbers, look at this. Trump is leading Biden in five of these states in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Nevada, Georgia, and Arizona. And in Nevada, Georgia, and Arizona, Trump is leading by four to five points. So that's a massive lead. I mean, that's kind of nuts, right? So in other news, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has grabbed 22% against Biden and Trump. So I think that people are, you know, losing faith in Joe Biden right now. Now, I also did want to cover, we have a major update with Trump's legal battles and this is, it doesn't seem like this is a good update for Trump, but wanted to tell you guys anyway, because you know, I share the truth here. A judge has blocked Trump's effort to subpoena the documents from January. A federal judge Monday rejected former President Trump's efforts to subpoena information related to the January 2021 incident that the former president had accused government officials of failing to preserve determining the request amounted to a fishing expedition. An October filing from Trump repeated a disputed claim that the former House Select Committee investigating this January incident failed to return over all the evidence it collected. Trump sought to subpoena Representative Benny Thompson, who led the nine-member panel, as well as several other government officials over what Trump's attorneys deemed as missing materials. Judge Tanya Chutkan, who is overseeing the federal case, said he failed to meet the legal bar for subpoenaing the officials. So not a good update there for Trump, but we will see Trump's lawyers wrote last month that Trump is fully entitled to seek the missing records by subpoena. But yeah, the judge did block that. In other news, Governor Gavin Newsom has announced another round of grants to help cities tackle homeless encampments. It's about time. Listen to Governor Gavin Newsom talk about this. Um, he actually sat down with uh, the Canadian Prime Minister. Uh, so a significant investment. 23 Governor Newsom calls it a significant investment. Late today, he announced more funding to help clear out homeless encampments. The governor says homeless... So we saw that when the, the president of China came into San Francisco, they cleaned up the homeless very quickly. And it was like... Well, Governor Gavin Newsom was like, well, I thought this couldn't be done. And then all of a sudden they started taking away the tents because the prime Minister, the president of China, Xi Jinping, came on in and was like, well, why didn't you just remove the, you know, clean up the town? I mean, hopefully they did it humanely. Hopefully they, you know, put them somewhere safe. But Governor Gavin Newsom is now actually looks like potentially going after homelessness. He says, I think we can all agree that we need to do more to clean, clean up encampments in the state of California, said Newsom. No effing SH word, bro. Sorry, I'm not trying to cuss on here, but no SH, Sherlock. It took you this long to realize that we need to help clean up the, the homeless situation? Are you a clown? I mean, dude, how long have you been governor? Like, 
And, and it's like, if it's taking you this long, I don't know if this is gonna help at all. Nearly $300 million are available with the goal to clean up encampments and move people into housing. Yeah, $300 million is really gonna go far, dude. You know, the average house of a price, the, wow, it's, it's late. I'm actually making this video. I know I should be going to bed soon, but I'm up at 1 a.m. making this video. So sorry if some of my words are not super accurate. And I'm cooking dinner. I know, my sleep schedule's way off. I'm making chicken, rice, and broccoli. But I mean, I'm making it good. I'm, I'm making like spicy chicken and I'm making white rice and I'm, uh, I have broccoli in the oven right now. So I gotta finish up this video soon. But I mean, dude, the average price of a house in California right now, I mean, at least in Southern California or San Francisco is like a million bucks. I mean, I'm talking about like in, I'm not talking about like you know, way out in the boonies. I mean, these are near cities. The price of a house is like a million dollars. So how far is $300 million really gonna get you when the cost of inflation, or when the price, the US dollar is super inflated right now, 300 million bucks is not gonna go far at all, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like, yeah, you might be able to, throw a few of them in a, a in a mobile park somewhere but it's like those people are gonna like living there anyways they're gonna go be back right on the streets right back on the streets so i don't know it, it just kind of upsets me that it's like dude you waited till almost 2024 to finally do something how long has gavin newsom been governor um he was the 49th governor from 2011 to 2019 yeah, I mean, he's been governor for, for years. This is a very long overdue, right? Very long overdue. Now, I wanted to uh, touch on what Mike Johnson is doing. So Mike Johnson is speaking out a lot and he's saying he's talking about the aid for Israel that he's saying that it will pass in the House. He is confident that the aid for Ukraine and Israel will pass in the House. There was also supposed to be funding for the border as well. So I hope that also gets passed in the bill because let's face it, we need to secure our border here in America. So anyways, those are the major updates for today. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. Have a great day. God bless and we'll talk soon.